it's celebration day as the University of Hawaii at Manoa opens two on-campus net zero classrooms whose operation will be monitored by the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute and which have been funded by the Office of Naval Research. Aloha, welcome to this grand opening of our new FROG buildings. What are FROGs? FROG stands for Flexible Response to Ongoing Growth. I'm really excited to have you all here. We're even more excited to have these buildings come online. A lot of our work is on integration of renewables into the grid, but if you look at the grid, a very significant part of overall energy goes into buildings. So understanding those buildings better, teaching people how to design them better, how to integrate them better into the grid, is one of the building blocks of the entire system, which is ultimately what we need to address. This is a great example of applied research where our faculty who have been studying the best approaches to sustainable classrooms are able to put the best ideas into practice. These buildings were designed to be net zero buildings, meaning that they will generate at least as much energy as they will consume. In addition to that, there are other technical features that have been integrated into the design such that they will reduce the amount of energy they actually use. Just by having windows properly oriented in relation to where the prevailing winds are going to be, utilizing ventilation in those ways. In a lot of our facilities, we can drive down the temperatures and make them thermally comfortable just by using those passive measures. By combining energy efficient construction materials, window glass designed to control transmission of heat, ceiling fans with scientifically designed aerofoils, lighting that is responsive to ambient daylight, sensors that read radiant interior temperatures as well as levels of occupancy, on-demand self-limiting air conditioning and real-time monitoring to ensure the buildings are attaining their net zero goals, the FROG classrooms are designed to set new levels of energy efficiency and conservation. The interaction of the people with the building can either enhance the advanced design and, and what it brings to the building, or it can really negate it. So if you don't take advantage of the features, they're not gonna reward you the way they're supposed to, either with comfort or cost savings. We do intend for it to be more interactive and try to educate the user so that we can really understand how do we take advantage of the building more. Currently available occupancy sensors mostly detect people when they're moving, when they're walking, entering the room, exiting the room, that sort of thing. So sometimes when you're just sitting there, they may actually turn the lights off because they're not detecting any significant motion. So we detect human presence by detecting vital signs, by detecting respiration and heartbeat. And we're certainly very, very excited about the opportunity to test our sensors in the frog building. In the final stage, Frogs 1 and 2 will become energy self-sufficient with the installation of rooftop solar panels and high-performance batteries to supplement the direct solar-generated electricity. But utilizing something like these frog buildings, again, is, is a great option for us. We can drop them down on a campus and not have to worry about a huge electrical infrastructure type upgrade in order to, to power them. Really was a project that, that worked well for the company, for ONR and for the university. So it really was a, a collaboration from the very beginning. But what we do bring to it is the ability to independently monitor both structurally what the building does, but also from a performance and operational point of view, does it do what the design intended it to do in terms of natural lighting, natural ventilation, and, and comfort of the space without heavy use of electrical energy for the mechanical systems. It's been a long journey dreaming about what's possible and the kinds of facilities we want, but actually sitting here today in this room, actually feeling comfortable and knowing that this building is serving as a model that all students out here are, are looking at, it's, it's incredible. It feels great.